Sanctorum Omnium, Decorum Solem Militate Laudet Angeli, et Collaudan Filium Dei, Exultate Iusti, in Domino, Rectos Decet Collautio, Collaudatio, Gloria Patria, Filio Spiritu e Santo, Sicuterat in Principio e Comitante, et in Secula Secula Orum. Amen. Kyrie Eleison, Kyrie Eleison, Christe Eleison, Kyrie Eleison, Kyrie Eleison. Spiritu in gloria de
Pax Bovis. Oremus. Omnipotens and Peterne Deus, qui nos omnium sanctorum tuorum meritas sub una tribuisti celebritate venerari quesumus o desideratum nobis tue propicionis abundantiam multiplicatis intercessionibus largiaris per Dominum nostrum Iesum Christo Filium tuum qui te convivite treniat in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deis per omnia saecula saeculorum Amen A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out at the top of his voice to the four angels who were given power to ravage the land and the sea. Do no harm to the land or the sea or the trees until we imprint this seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who were so marked 144,000 from every tribe of Israel. After this, I saw before me a huge crowd which no one could count from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and the Lamb, dressed in long white robes and holding palm tree branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation is from our God, who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. All the angels who were standing around the throne and the elders and the four living creatures fell down before the throne to worship God. They said, Amen, praise and glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor, power and might to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders asked me, Who do you think these are? all dressed in white. And where have they come from? I said to him, Sir, you should know better than I. He then told me, These are the ones who have survived the great period of trial. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Vervum Domini
a reading from the first letter of John. See what love the Father has bestowed on us in letting us be called children of God. Yet that, in fact, is what we are. The reason the world does not recognize us is that it never recognized the Son. Dearly beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall later be has not yet come to light. We know that when it comes to light, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is. Everyone who has this hope based on Him keeps Himself pure as He is pure. Vervum Domini
Dominus Bohobiscum. Lexio Sancti Evangelii Secundum Mateum. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they, they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you, and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Verbum Domini Please be seated. Father Ardi Bagos, Bagung Bagung Pari, Ministers of the Altar, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today we celebrate the Feast of All Saints. Life on earth, my dear brothers and sisters, is hard. It's a continuous warfare, as Job said. This world is fallen, filled with obstacles to peace, justice, and true happiness. And each one of us carries within us a fallen human nature that tends towards selfishness and sin in spite of being loved by God and having been redeemed and renewed by His grace. As a result, my dear brothers and sisters, the life of every Christian here on earth is a hard battle to stay faithful to Christ and to help others 
do the same. This is why the church on earth is called the church militant, always fighting to defend their innocence, to defend themselves against the evil one. Official church teaching doesn't shy away from this battle. The Second Vatican Council in its con constitution on the church in the modern world says following for a monumental struggle against the powers of darkness pervades the whole history of man. The battle was joined from the very origins of the world and will continue until the last day as the Lord has attested. And so, caught in this conflict, man is obliged to wrestle constantly, fight constantly, if he is to cling to what is good, not, nor can he achieve his own integrity without great efforts and the help of God, God's grace. Brothers and sisters, we know, we know this and we have accepted the challenge. That's why we are here today. And yet, we get tired of fighting sometimes. We get worn out. Sometimes we concede defeat. That's why the church gives us today's solemnity of all saints to rekindle our hope, our strength, our wish to fight what is wrong in ourselves. That's why the Church gives us today solemnity of all saints to rekindle our hope, as I said. But today we take our eyes off the battlefield of earth where the church militant is fighting, sweating, and bleeding. And we lift our gaze to heaven where we see a great multitude which no one could count, gathered around our King, enjoying the rewards of the earthly labors, enjoying victory. And we believe our dear Father Odon, together with all those who have gone ahead, are among this crowd of holy souls. These are the saints in heaven. They are called the church triumphant. They are people just like us from the 
from every age and place and walk of life who survived the time, the time of distress, the great distress here on earth, as St. John calls life on earth in the first reading. Contemplating these brothers and sisters in Christ should renew our strength, inspire us, and encourage us. Honoring and emulating all the saints will help us much. Looking up to the saints reminds us that we are part of a bigger story. The sacrifices and struggles we go through here on earth to be faithful to Christ and the church are worth it. We need this reminder. We need it more than once a year. And the church gives it to us more than once a year as we celebrate Saints' Day all throughout the liturgical year. That is why sometimes we remember to honor the saints. There are so many of them. And they are not all in there in our celebration the whole year. There are more of them. But all sense they remind us of something that can get lost in other saints' days. The famous saints often led such extraordinary lives that it is hard for us to emulate them, to copy, if possible, their life and to be strong as they were against difficulties, against sin and the evil one. It is easy to honor them, recognize all that they did for Christ and all that Christ did for them. But nothing and honoring the saints is not enough. Honoring the saints is not enough. We also need to emulate them to copy their lives and to be as strong as they were and to continue fighting as they did in this, on this earth. And this is where all saints day comes in so today we honor all of saintly men and women who have not been canonized by the church who are not famous saints but who have nevertheless followed Christ heroically and taken their place in heaven. So today, we also remember those who are not in the calendar the whole year. And even members of our families, the youth that died without sin and everybody they may not be canonized but they are saints 
They come from our ranks. They did what we are doing, although they are not canonized. They also are saints. These are the saints that live ordinary lives on the outside, but extraordinary lives on the inside. The God didn't overlook them. And there is no shortage of them every day. One of us here on earth go to heaven. And there is no shortage, as I said, of saints who are not canonized, but they are saints. And that is why we have this day to honor them also, as we honor the canonized saints day by day the whole year. Most of us live ordinary lives on the outside. And maybe some of us, because of that, think that we can't really live up to the high standard set by the famous saints who did miracles and live dramatic lives. There are so many of them. They are examples for us to follow. But today's solemnity assures us that we can. It assures us that if we live each day as Christ would have us striving to do God's will with all our strength and to love our neighbor as ourselves, then our lives, which look so ordinary on the outside, will be truly extraordinary on the inside. Today we will receive Christ once again in the Eucharist, which has been the food of all the saints. If he is giving himself to us, it's only because he knows that with his help, we too can experience how blessed it is to be faithful children of God. And what is the unique characteristic common to every saint? Let us ask ourselves. It certainly isn't intelligence you cannot, you can become saints even if you are not intelligent. You don't have to be super smart to be a saint. Saint Christina the Astonishing was devel developmentally impaired. And yet she became a spiritual advisor to rulers and peasants alike. St. Joseph Cupertino needed a literal miracle to pass his theology exams. But he became a saint, he struggled and fought his way to heaven. What else? It certainly isn't good looks. If you have good looks, 
you know. All the statues of the saints, they look very handsome, very beautiful. But good looks is not necessary to become saints. Saint Rita of Cassia, a widow who entered the convent, was given a mystical vision of Christ's passion. Afterwards, she experienced on her own forehead one of the wounds caused by Christ's crown of thorns. She bore the open wound on her face for the last decades of her life. And it was ugly. It was smelly. Yet he is a, she is a saint. And yet the spiritual beauty spreads like sunlight all throughout Italy and down through the centuries, even if he did not smell right, even if everybody would not come near because of distance. The unique characteristic of saints isn't even great personality. Although many saints were of great personality. Saint Pio of Pietarcina was ordinary and temperamental. He used to be harsh and demanding even when he was hearing confessions. And yet, Sinners from all over the world were drawn to his confessional. My dear brothers and sisters, the unique characteristic isn't wealth and worldly success. No. We do not have canonized saints. No, we do have canonized saints who were empresses, empress, mga reina. But we also have those who were hermits and beggars. They also can become saints, and they did become saints. The characteristics shared by all the saints the one sure sign of mature holiness is none of those things we mentioned. Rather, it is the truly amazing ability to experience deep joy even in the middle of terrible sorrow. We are happy amidst the terrible sorrow that may happen to us in our lives. This is what Jesus means when he says that those who are poor, those who are in mourning, and those who are persecuted are blessed. Holiness is a mature friendship with Jesus Christ. A friendship so deep and strong that it allows us to experience the joy of eternal life even while still fighting the painful battles of our earthly exile. Brothers and sisters, I wish and I pray that all of us one day will meet 
in heaven and join those who are happy with the Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Credo in unum Deo, Padre omnipotente, un factore cieli e terre, visibilium omnium et invisibilium, et unum dominum Iesum Christum Filium Dei Unicentum, et ex Patri nato Matia omnia secula, Deum de Deo lumen de lumen e Deum verum de Dei vero, genitum non factum, consubstantiali patri, Per quem omnia facta sum, qui propter nos homines et propter nostram salutem, descendi di celis, et incarnatus est de Spiritu Santo, ex Maria Virgine, et homo factus est. Crucifixus eciam pro nobis sub Pontio Pilato passus, et sepultus est, et resurrexit tercia dia secundum scripturas, et ascendit in celum, sedet ad exteram patris, et iterum venturus est cum gloria, iudicare vivus et mortuos, cuius regni non erit fidis, et in spiritum sanctum, dominum et vivificantem, qui ex patre filioque procedit, qui cum patre et filio simula durator et cum glorificator, qui locutus est per profetas, et unam sanctam catholicam et apostolicam ecclesiam, confitior unum baptisme in remissionem peccatorum, et expecto resurrectionem mortuorum, et vitam venturi saeculi. Amen.
Dominus Vobiscum. Oremos. Cristo Romani mei, mando de Iesu, et non tangia timus tormentum mali, vicis un populi, populis insipiensum mori, ili autem sunt in pace, alleluia.
susi pe Sancta Trinitas, ang oblasyonim kong tibi o fermus o memoriam. Resurrectione et ascensione si Jesu Christi Domini nostri et in honorem Beati Maria Semper Virginis et Beati Ioannis Baptiste et Rome Sanctorum Postolorum Petri et Pauli et Istorum et Onum Sanctorum ut ilis propiciat ad honorem nobis autem et salutem et ilis pro nobis intercedente et digne et turincelis corum memoria magimus interis per iundem Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. Orate fratres, ut meium ac bestrum sacrificium, acceptabile fiat apud Deium patrem omnipotentem. Sis scipia Domine, sacrificium de manus tuis, et laudem et gloriam nomini sui, adutum tatem coque nostrum, tot suis que ecclesiae suis sancte. Amen. Munerati bi Domine nostre devotionis operimus, Que pro concorum tibi gratia sint honore justorum et nobis salutaria, de miserante retantur per Dominum nostrum Iesum Christum, filium tuum qui tegu bibi trenium tati Spiritus Sancti Deus. Per omnia secula seculo orum, Dominus Bohobiscum, et cum spiritu tuo, sursum corda, obemus et omnium, gratia sagamus, Domino Deo Nostro. Vigilio et justum est. Vere dignum et justum est. Ecum et salutare. Nos tibi semper et ubique. Gratia assagere. Domine Sancti Pater, Omnipotens Eterne Deus, qui cum unigenito Filio Tuo, et Spiritu Sancto, unus est Deus, unus est Dominus. Non in unio singularitate persone, sed in unio trinitate substantie. Quod enim de tua gloria, revelante te credimus, hoc de filio tuo. Hoc de Spiritu Santo, sine differentia discretioni sentimus. Ot in confessione vere sempiter neque deitatis, et in personis proprietas, et in essentia unitas, et in maestate adoretur equalitas, quam laudant angeli atque archangeli, servum coque ac serapim, Qui non cessant clamare quotidie, una voce dicentes. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus, Abos, Plenis Uncelli, Terra, Gloria Tua, Osana, in excelsis, Benedictus, qui bendicti, in nomine, in nomine, Sana, in excelsis.
Peronia secula seculorum. Oremus, precepti salutaribus moniti, et divina institutione formati, audemus dicere, Pater noster qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, Fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentazione. Sed libera nos amare. Per omnia secula seculorum. Pax Domini sit semper vobiscum. Et cum spiritu tu. Patris, cooperanti Spiritu Sancto per mortem tua mundum vivificaste, libera me per hoc sacro santum corpus et sanguinem tuum, ab omnus iniquitatibus meis et universis malis et pac metuis semper enere remandatis et a te nuncom separari permitas qui cum Deu, Patre et Spiritu Sancto bibis et regnas Deus in secula seculorum, amen, per septio corpus Domini nostri Iesu Christi. Codei gundinio sumere presumo non mici probignat, e giudicio met in condemnazione mset pro tua pietate prosit mici a tutta mentum mentis et corporis, et ad medellum precipiendum cui vivis et regnas cum Dei Patre, unitati Spiritu Sancti Dei spero mia secula seculorum. Amen. Panem, Celeste macipiem et nomen domini in bucavo domine non sum dignus, ot in tre subtectum meium, sentandum pit per sanabitur anima mea, 
Domine non sono digni di entrare sul tetto mio, e tanto di qui che c'è un abito l'animo mio. Domine non sono digni di entrare sul tetto mio, tanto di qui che c'è un abito l'anima mia. Corpus Domini nostri, qui si custodia l'anima mia, mi invita a metterla. Misiriatur vestri omnipotens Deus ad dimisis picatis vestris, perducat vos ad vitam eternam. An. Indulgentiam absolutionem et remissionem peccatorum nostrorum, tribuat nobis omnipotens et misericors dominus. An. Amius Dei, ecce qui tolit peccata mundi, Domine, non sum dignus, ut intresse tectum meum, sed tantum di fervo, et senabitum anima meum, Domine, non sum dignus, ut intresse tectum meum, sed tantum di fervo, et senabitum anima meum, Domine, non sum dignus, ut intresse tectum meum, e tanto un dito e se ne abbia
Dominus Bohobiscum. Oremus. Dacque somus Domine Fidelibus Populis Omnium Sanctorum Semper Venera, Veneratione Laetari, et Iorum Perpetua Supplicatione Mune Uniri, per Dominum Nostum Iesum Christum Filium Tum, qui Tecum Vivit Regnat, in un tati Spiritus Sancti Dei per Omnia Secula Seculorum. Dominus Bohobiscum, et cum Spiritu Tu, ite misa est, Deo gratia. Sit nomen Domini Benedictum, ex hoc nugus quincet, Adjutorium nostrum in nomine Domini. Qui feci celum Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Inicium Sancti Evangelii Secundum Ioannem Tupon. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was made nothing that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of man and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. This man came for a witness to give testimony of the light that all men might believe through him. He was not the light, but was to give testimony of the light. That was the true light which enlighteneth every man that cometh into this world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, he gave them power to be made the sons of God to them that believe in his name, who are born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we saw his glory, the glory as it were of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God.
ora pro nobis sancta Dei genitrix. Uti mia ficiam promissionibus Christi. Oremus, omnipotens sempiterne Deus, qui gloriosa virginis matris Mariae corpus et animam, ut dignum filii tui habitaculum efici mereretur, Spiritus Sancto cooperante preparasti, da ut cuius commemoratione leitamur, eius pi intercessione, ab instantibus malis et morte perpetua rebiremur, per iundem Christum Dominum nostrum. Divinum auxilium magna semper nobiscum. Et cum fratibus nostris Prayer of Saint Gertrude to the saints in heaven. I salute you through the heart of Jesus. O all ye holy angels and saints of God, I rejoice in your glory, and I give thanks to our Lord for all the benefits which he has showered upon me. I praise him and glorify him, and offer you for an increase of your joy and honor, the most gentle heart of Jesus. Deign, therefore, to pray for me, that I may become according to the heart of God. Amen. 